Welcome back to Inside Post Challenge, part of the Road to the Breeders' Cup, sponsored by Adequan. This week we're going to take a look back at the Shadwell Turf Mile from Keeneland. Hi everyone, I'm Tom Law, I'm flying solo this week. We're going to take a look back at the Shadwell Keeneland Turf Mile from Keeneland. Big, big Breeders' Cup prep weekend out at Keeneland, also out at Oak Tree and at Belmont Park. First things first though, got to congratulate Tammy D from Mount Vernon, Washington. She's the winner of the Inside Post Challenge weekly contest. Picks up the $25 prize for correctly selecting court vision. I also believe she might have had the third place finisher in there as well. So she wins the Inside Post weekly challenge for selecting court vision in the Shadwell Turf Mile. Speaking of court vision, he's one of two horses for IEAH stables that had a that punch pretty much punched their ticket to the Breeders' Cup this weekend. He was very, very impressive in the Shadwell Turf Mile. He hadn't been seen in a while. Got some surgery to repair an undescended testicle. Now he's back. All is right with him. Trainer Rick Dutrow had been very, very pleased with how he had been doing all along. Shipped him down here to Keeneland. He ran very, very well on the soft turf. Speaking of the soft turf, one horse that did not handle the soft turf at all, did not look comfortable from the get-go, was just enough humor. Came in undefeated on the turf. He trailed early. Just never looked into the race, never looked comfortable at all. But his connections, very, very confident. Trainer Kieran McLaughlin and his brother Neil, who's the assistant here at Keeneland, said he just didn't like it at all. Really wants the firm turf. They're very confident they're going to get that out at Santa Anita for the Breeders' Cup on November 7th. And uh, aside from a little bit of rain, they're getting out there on the West Coast this week. It figures to be very, very firm out there at Santa Anita for the Breeders' Cup. But Court Vision, regardless, he's done well on firm turf, soft turf, all, all around the country. He's done well. He seems to be a horse that's going in the right direction, headed to the Breeders' Cup. Join us back later in the week when we take a look at the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup Stakes from Keeneland, the second to last race in the Inside Post Challenge.